What we're talking about right now is giving our guards a couple of ways in which they can combat some moves that the defenders are going to put on them when they're trying to get into the backfield to stop our running backs or put on a pass rush. And one effective move that the defense uses a lot is called the swat and swim move. Now, first of all, let's show them what we're talking about with the swat and swim move, and then we'll show you how to defend that move. All right, go. All right, on the swat and swim move, you can see he's coming up over top to try to get into our backfield. This is an easy one to defend if you're a guard. First of all, we talked about we want our guards to have lower leverage and we want them to be down lower than the defensive player. So what the defensive player is doing is he's already going against that rule because he's coming up top with the play. All we're going to do right here is when he goes ahead and lifts that arm up, we're going to cave in the side of his rib cage and then we're going right up top with it and we're just going to walk him right out of the play. Let's go ahead and walk through it and show what it looks like. Is that hut? Right there, when he swims that move, you're coming in hard to the ribs, and then you're going on up. Use his arm and his leverage and take him right out of the play, and that's an effective way to go against the swat and swim.